Hello, welcome to Yoga with Katie. Today we're going to be doing a flow class. Let's come to a comfortable seated position on your yoga mat. Close your eyes for a moment, taking a few calming breath. When you inhale, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to your spine. We are calm, we are relaxed and we are still setting your intention for today's class. Now we will slowly open up the eyes. Inhale your arms up above the head. Turn the palm out, exhale down. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale down. One more. Inhale, tall and long. Exhale down. Hands to the thighs, sitting up nice and tall. Stretching out the neck next. Ear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide or support the head. Lengthening, stretch. Relieve any tension that you may have. And we're going to stay here for three, two, one. Slowly come back to center, the other side. Ear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide or support the head, stretch. If there's any stiffness in your neck, just stay here for a little bit longer. No need to rush. Take your time. And we're going to slowly, slowly come back to center. Take an inhale, the center, exhale, center, over the right shoulder. Only go to where you're comfortable. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side. Slowly curve back to center, chin up, head back. And then chin to chest. Inhale, center, exhale, look at the right armpit. Slightly tuck the chin in. 45 degree angle, looking down. Slowly, slowly curve back up. And now we're going to look at the other armpit. Slightly tuck the chin in. 45 degree angle, looking down. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Shoulder stretch, right arm up and across, pull back, creating resistance. Chin is away from the body, looking forward. Slowly release. Same arm up, we lengthen first, place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow, try some stretch. Chin up, looking forward. Those who are more flexible, if you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out, the other side, arm up and across, pull back, creating resistance. Chin is away from the body, looking forward. Slowly release, same arm up, we lengthen first. Place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the tricep stretch. Try to bring the elbows to the back of your head. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, binding hands behind your back. Don't worry if you're not able to do this. Try to keep the fingers close together. And we're going to slowly release. Shake it out. Hands on the shoulders. Up as in, up as out. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Feel the pinch in shoulder blades. Opening up long heart chest. Improving your posture. Now, when you're in the center position, we're going to go into a full circle. Try to bring the elbows close together, oiling the shoulder joint. And reverse.
Slowly, slowly come back to center. Inhale, your arms up, lengthening your spine. Exhale, bend towards the right side. Bending the lower arm, top arm, suppressing the Chin is away from the body, looking up. Lengthening the side of your body. Slowly come back to center. We lengthen the spine and exhale to the other side. Release the bottom arm, top arm, the suppressing move. Make sure both buttons are sitting down. We're not lifting one hip up. Slowly come back to center. We lengthen the spine and exhale twist. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Back hand behind your spine. Don't lean back too much. If you like, you can wrap the back arm around your waist, and that will prevent you from leaning too far back. Creating resistance. Stretching our lower back muscles. Massaging internal organs. Helping you to digest and detox. Now we slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale, the arm up. Forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release the other side, opposite hand, opposite thigh, the other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine, keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back, turning the neck as well. With every exhale breath, try to turn a little bit more. Stretching our lower back muscles, massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. Slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up. Forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release. Hands on your thighs. Sitting up nice and tall. And we're going to come to a torso turn. Starting our small circle. Gradually do a deeper and deeper torso turn. Moving your shoulders as well. Warming up the spine. And reverse, touching all four corners of your space. Continue to warm up the spine. Now we're gonna slowly, slowly come back to center to release. Inhale your arms up, lengthening. Exhale, bow down. Walking the fingers forward, elbows off the mouth, shoulders relaxed, forehead down. Lengthening the spine here. Neck and spine in one straight line and chin is away from the body. Slowly, slowly walking the hands back. And we're going to come to a neutral tabletop. Spread all your fingers. Wrist underneath the shoulder. Knees underneath the hip, top of the feet on the mat. Neutral spine, sway side to side. And when you're ready, we're going to go into cat and cow. Inhale, drop your belly, chin up, look up into a cow. Exhale, round your back as much as you can. Pull your belly in tight, looking down into a cat. So we're going to do this a few times at your own breath and your own pace. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between vertebrates. Two more times. Can and cows will help people to relieve back pain. And one last one. Slowly, slowly come back to center, swaying side to side with this tension in your wrist. Now we're going to come to our balance, right arm and left leg. Oh, right thumb to the sky, back to step. Once you're set up, bring the arms and leg out to 45 degrees or as far as you can go. Squeeze your abs in tight. Inhale, center, lengthening. Exhale, 
to open. One more. Inhale, center. Extend. Exhale, to open. Slowly, slowly release. Sway side to side. Release tension in your wrist. And we're going to repeat on the other side. Left arm and right leg out. Reach and stretch. One straight line. Once you're set up, bring the arms and leg out to 45 degrees, so as far as you can go. Inhale, center, extend, exhale, open. One more. Inhale, center, extend, exhale, open. Slowly, slowly, come back. <clears throat> Neutral spine. Swing side to side. And we're going to thread the needle. Inhale, the right arm up. Exhale, slide through the opening, dropping the right shoulder down. Left arm can be on the front of you or wrapped around your waist. If you want to <coughs> add more body weight on the right shoulder, extend the left leg out on your toes or off the mat. Any variation you like. So don't worry about raising the back leg. If you find that it is challenging, just place the left leg back down on the mat. All the body weight is on the right shoulder. Regular weights in the head or neck. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly release, using the left hand to push yourself up. And we're going to repeat, thread the needle on the other side, inhale, left arm up, exhale, slide through the opening, dropping the left shoulder down. Right arm can be out in front of you, or wrap around your waist. Then you can stay here, if you like, and extend the right leg out on your toes, putting more body weight on the left shoulder, or you can lift it up. If you like go to challenge, your choice. Any variation you like to challenge yourself. Be mindful of anyone who has any shoulder issues or knee issues. And slowly, slowly release. Using the right hand to push yourself up. We're gonna slowly transition to come lie down on the stomach. Fall back extension. So take your time to come lie down on your stomach. Legs are hip width apart, top of the feet on the mat. When you press on the top of the feet, kneecaps automatically comes off. Hands by your chest, forehead down. When you're ready, lift the hand chest up, hands off, kneecaps up, looking down to protect your neck. And we're gonna stay here for five breaths. Three, two, one, slowly and gently, release everything down. Extend your arms forward. And we're gonna come to a Superman, forehead down, knee caps up. When you're ready, lift the hand chairs up, arms off, leg and thigh off. Reach into opposite direction, looking down. And we're gonna stay here for five. All the poses lying down on your stomach will hopefully strengthen the lower back muscles to support your spine, especially if you have back pain. Now we're going to slowly, slowly release everything down. Swing your arm behind you. We're going to go into a locust. If you can interlace the finger, go ahead. Modification, arm by your side, not touching your body. So when you're ready, lift the hand chest up, now close towards the heels, leg and thigh up. Staying here for five breaths. One more breath. And we're gonna slowly and gently release everything down. I'm so in T, we're gonna go into crocodile, shoulder height, legs are apart as wide as the mat, left cheek on your mat. Bending the right knee, draw it close to the right elbow. Make yourself completely flat. As we stretch out the left side of your neck and opening up the right hip. Melt into your mat, just relax. 
taking a few breaths here. One more breath, and we're slowly bring everything back to the center of the mat. Second hands on top of each other, bend both knees, windshield wipers. You can either have chin down or forehead down. Feel the slight movement in your lower back, your back swaying side to side. Loosen up. Slowly, slowly come back to center to release. We will grab a whole one ankle above ankle. I'm going to do a modification here. Opposite ankle, opposite arm. When you're ready, lift the hand chest up, arms up, thigh up. Feel the stretch in the quarter side. We're staying here for five breaths. Three, two, one, slowly release everything down. Switching side, opposite arm, opposite ankle. Lift the hand chest up, arms and opposite thigh up. So we should feel the stretch in the Watch your side here. One more breath, and we're going to slowly and gently release everything down. Coming into a seal, legs apart, as wide as the mat. Spread all your fingers, come up on your forearms, elbows, work, shoulder. So we're not sticking the elbows out. Tuck the elbows close to your body. Coming up on the forearm. Staying here for a couple of breaths first. Chin is away from the body, looking forward. And when you're ready, you can push yourself up. If this is too much for you, causing you pain and discomfort, please lower down on your forearm. And we're not squeezing the shoulder up. Shoulders are relaxed down from the knees. Slowly and gently release everything down. I'm so in T, we're gonna go proper down on the other side, palm facing down, right cheek on your mat, bending the left knee, draw it close to the elbow. Make yourself completely flat. Couple more breaths here. And we're going to slowly, slowly release, bring everything back to the center of the mat. And to counter back extension, we're going to go into a child pose. Knees apart, back toes to touch. Sing the hip down onto the heels. Forehead down, walking the fingers forward, elbows off the mat, shoulders relaxed, forehead down. Opening up the hip joint, stretching out the ankle, massaging internal organs, massaging the third eye, lengthening the spine, 
common demise for her. One more breath, and we're going to slowly rise up. Take your time to come up. We're going to get ready to stand up. So meet you in down dog. So spread all your fingers. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog. Meet the part of your palm, the bridge of your hands, as well as all 10 fingertips on the mat. And we're gonna walk the dog out by alternating, bending your knees, mountain climbing. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. We're gonna inhale, come forward to a high plank. Not sticking the butt up, not sagging. Exhale to down dog. Come again, inhale, forward to plank. Wrist underneath the shoulder, toes underneath the knees. Exhale to down dog. Slowly walk forward towards the hands. And now we're in the forward bend. We're gonna grab a hold of the big toes, thumb on the big toenail. Now we're gonna to inhale to lengthen the spine first, exhale to fold, bending the elbows towards the side of the rib. If you're not able to touch your toes, hold on to opposite elbows. Let your stomach rest on the thighs, lengthening the spine, stretching our lower back muscles, let the blood go the other way for a moment. However, if you have high low blood pressure, vertigo, and so on, if you start feeling dizzy, not well, you need to slowly come out of it. One more breath, getting ready to come up. We're going to inhale to a flat back. Hands on waist for support. Exhale to slowly, slowly, very slowly. Rise up to stand. Let your breath pressure get adjusted. After you've come all the way up, we're going to go back bend to capture. So interlace the finger behind. Knuckles down and away from you. Lifting chin up and half back. We're not pushing the hip forward. Shoulders and hips are level. Chin is away from the body. Looking up. Improving your posture. Opening up the heart chest. Stimulating thyroid gland by lifting chin up and half back. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Coming into a crescent moon. Inhale your arms up, palm touch. Release index finger, grow tall. Exhale, bend towards the right side. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking up. Inhale, center. Turn long, exhale to the other side. Shoulders and hips are level. We're not pushing one hip forward. Chin is away from the body, looking up. Inhale, center one more second, exhale to the right. Release the bottom arm. Top arm is pressing. Chin is away from the body. Looking up. Slowly, slowly come back up. Inhale the length of, exhale to the other side. Release the bottom arm. Top arm is pressing. Side body long. Slowly, slowly come back up. And down by your side. Do a few round of shoulder roll. Oiling the shoulder joint. Go the other way.
Check it out. Getting ready for sun salutation. So top of your mat, big toes to touch. Align the edge of your feet to the edge of your mat. So listen to your body always to avoid injuries. Inhale your arms up, back bend, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to flat mat, hands on shift, eyes looking forward. Exhale, hands on mat, stepping back into a plank, shifting the way forward. Beginners can drop to your knees, tuck your elbow by your side like chicken wings to come down. Inhale, cobra or up dog, shoulders relax, eyes looking up. Exhale, you can fall back on your knees, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up, coming into a down dog. We're staying here for five breaths. Spread out your fingers, middle index finger facing forward, separate your feet, two fists apart, not too wide, not too narrow. Lifting the hips high, high up. Eyes are looking at your toes. Now we look between the hands, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway up to flat mat. Exhale, forward bend, slightly bend the knees. Inhale, your arms all the way up, back bend, and then on down by your side, into a mountain pose. Continue, inhale, your arms up, opposite it, back bend. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, halfway up to a flat back. Exhale, hands on mat. Step or hop back into your plank. Shifting the way forward. Chaturanga is all one breath. Elbows lower than the shoulders. Immediately slide up to up, darker core. Exhale, to down and down. Shoulders are external rotation. Elbows are internal rotation. Eye of the elbow facing each other. Coming into warrior one on the right side. Inhale, right foot forward, twist the right hand. Left foot at 45. Square the hip to the front, arms up. Holding on your arm. Palm facing each other. Pinky slightly curved in. Shoulders relaxed down for medius. Eyes looking up. One more round, and we'll open up into a warrior two. Bring your hands to heart center. Widen your stand. Arms out in T, shoulder height, palm facing down. You even need to distribute your weight between the two legs, not leaning forward. Turn and look at the front fingers. Strong arms. Extend this angle. Right elbow resting on right side, left arm up. Open up the top hand, look at the top thumb. Not putting a hold of weight on the front thigh. Lift and stretch. We're gonna slowly windmill the top arm over to form one straight line. Form the baby finger to the back here. Top palm facing down, lengthening the left side of your body. Slowly, slowly release. Coming into reverse warrior. Flipping the right arm up, left hand down, the left arm. Top arm is the crescent moon, looking up. This is a side bend, not a back bend. Feel the stretch in the right side of your body. Slowly, slowly release. Come into triangle. Shorten your stand. Swing the hip out. As soon as you swing the hip out, both leg are straight. Arms out, shoulder height. Tip to the front. When you can't go anymore, windmill the arms. Bottom arm, six o'clock. Top arm, 12 o'clock. Shoulders stack on top of each other. Looking up. Modification 
slightly bend the front knee. If you can straighten out the front leg, lock the front knee. Slowly, slowly rise up. We're gonna use the length of our mat. Coming into a goddess. Legs are about three feet apart, toes are pointed out. Hands up by your chest, palm facing forward. Inhale up, exhale down. Slightly tuck the tables in to put your back. Don't push the knee beyond your toes. Inhale up, exhale down. Let's do another three. Two. One. Slowly. Slowly rise up. We're going to pivot the feet to face the other side. So we're going to repeat everything on the other side. So left leg forward, right leg back. Front knee is 90 degree and turn the ankle. Make sure it doesn't wobble in or out between second and third toe. Back foot is at 45. So we have a huge heel alignment. Square the hip to the front when you're ready. Arms up, warrior one. Shoulders relax down from your knees, arms facing each other, holding onto your big ball. Pinky slightly curved in. Eyes looking up, we're not tipping the head back. Strong arms, strong core, work the legs in the warrior series. Now we're gonna open up into a wall range. So wide on your stand, bring your hands to heart center. As soon as you open up, arms are parallel to the floor. Palm facing down. Turn and look at the front fingers. Coming into extended side angle, left elbow rest on the left thigh, right arm up. Open up the top hand, look at the top thumb. Not putting all our weight on the front thigh. Lift and stretch. Slowly wiggle the top up over to form one straight line. Form the baby finger to the back heel. Top palm facing down. Lengthening the right side of your body. Slowly, slowly release. Coming into reverse warrior. Flipping the left arm up. Right hand down, the right thigh. Top arm is pressing it. Looking up. This is a side bend, not a back bend. So the stretch in, in the left side of your body. No change in the legs. Slowly, slowly release. Triangle, shorten your stand. Sway the hip out. As soon as you sway the hip out, both legs are straight. Arms up in T. Shift to the front. When you can't go anymore, windmill the arms. Left arm, six o'clock. Top arm, 12 o'clock. Shoulders stand on top of each other. Bow palm facing out. Look at the top thumb. Modification. Slightly bend the front knee. If you can straighten out the front leg, lock the front knee. Slowly, slowly coming back up. And we're going to bring the other hands back down the mat, stepping back into a plank. So we'll do a flow here, shifting the way forward, lower down. Elbows tucked by your side. Immediately slide up to up. Dog, a cobra. Exhale to down dog. Take your time to set up, lifting the hips high, high up, pushing the mat away. Release the head down. Last down dog in the sequence. One more breath. Look between the hands and we're going to walk forward, twist the hands. Inhale, halfway up to flat heart. Exhale, forward bend. And we're going to come to chair pose. Inhale, your arms up, sit in your chair. 
when you see your age, you will see your toes will be your toes. Don't push the knee beyond the toes. One more breath, and we're going to power out with the strong legs. Back thing, and then on the other side, into mountain pose. So we're in the mountain pose, and by your side, palms facing forward. Legs are your bone apart, soft knees, close your eyes for a moment, slowing down the half feet, make a fist, inhale, shoulders up to your knees, begin, hey, hey, hey. Oh. Sign it out, release again. Inhale your shoulders up, creating a lot of tension. Exhale, let it go. Two more times. Inhale, shoulders up, lots and lots of tension. Exhale, release one last one. Check it out. And when you come sit down, you can work on seated poses. Have a seat, sip of water if needed. Bring the sole of your feet together, grab your hands around the ankle, sitting up nice and tall, walking side to side, finding your sitting bones. Fly like a butterfly, flap about 10 times, open up hip joints. Draw the heel close to you, grab hold the big toe of the entire feet, inhale the length of exhale, hinge forward, leading with the chest, bring the arms on the outside of the shin, inhale the length, exhale, bring the stomach a little bit closer, neck is long, spine is straight, not forcing yourself to come down, we're opening up the hip joint, stretching in the thighs, Slowly, slowly come back to center. And we're gonna draw the knees up, coming into windshield wipers. So this is your point, hands behind you, finger facing the same way as your feet. And we're gonna drop the knees from one side to the other side. Knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat. Hips can come up, hip release. Now we're going to open up and drop both knees to the right side, forming a 90, 90 degree here. Make sure the butt stay down. You're going to feel the stretch here. Quarter side hip joint, looking at the opposite side. Don't lean back too much. A little bit of discomfort here, so you listen to your body. Slowly, slowly release and we're going to wave your a few more times. Hip release. And when you're ready, we're going to drop both knees to the other side. So we're forming a 90, 90 degree here. You can adjust the angle to suit your needs. Most importantly, make sure the butt stay down. We're not lifting the hip up. You're going to feel the stretch here, quarter circuit joint, looking at the opposite side. Slowly, slowly release, and we will straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Get the pressure pad out from your butt. And it's by your sides, coming up nice and tall. Point your toes up to the ceiling, shoulders are relaxed, chin is away from the body, looking forward, coming into the staff pose. When you're ready, we will come into a forward bend, so we inhale the arms up, lengthening, 
Exhale, we hinge forward, grow longer, holding on to the feet, the legs, or release the hands on either side. Feel free to use your yoga strap to help you get into the alignment. Inhale the length. Exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly come back up. Coming into one leg forward, then my left is your right, point your toes up to the ceiling. Inhale the arms up, lengthening. Exhale, we hinge. Bodies directly on top of the straight leg. Holding on to any part of the foot, the legs, or release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. Slowly, slowly come back up. Coming into a seated twist, bring the band leg on the outside of the straight leg. So beginner, you can stay here. Those who can bend the bottom leg, you can bend the bottom leg. So on this side, do modification. Point the front toes up to the ceiling. Opposite arm, opposite knee, draw it close to you. The other arm up and over, bring it directly behind your spine. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder. Look at the back. Turning the neck as well. Stretching our lower back muscles. Massaging internal organs. Helping you to digest and detox. Our twisting position will help you to digest and detox as well as helping you to relieve back pain. Now we're slowly bring the body to the opposite side, bow down, counter twist, bending the elbows, more room to come down. As we stretch our lower back and oblique, the side of my body. Slowly, slowly, come back up. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Then we're gonna repeat one leg forward bend on the other side. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Inhale your arms up, lengthening. Exhale, we hinge. Grow longer. Holding on to any part of the foot, the legs, or release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. One more breath, slowly, slowly, come back up. Coming into see the twist, bring the belly on the outside of the straight leg. So opposite arm, opposite knee. So if you can bend the bottom leg, go ahead. Both butts down, both feet on the ground. Opposite arm, opposite knee, draw it close to you. The other arm up and over, bring it directly behind your spine. Front arm can be stop sign hand, prayer hands, any variation you like. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder. Look at the back, turning the neck as well. Using your inhale breath to lengthen, exhale. Try to turn a little bit more. One more breath and we slowly bring everything to the opposite side, bow down, count the twist. Bending the elbows, more room to come down as we stretch our lower back and oblique the side of your body. Mm. 
slowly, slowly come back up. We're going to straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. And we're going to transition to come lie down on your yoga mat for reclining poses. So if you need water, have a sip of water. And both knees, your spine will automatically release, keeping the natural curves in your lower back. And down by your side, palm facing down. Chain to chest. Close your eyes for a moment. Let your body get used to lying on its back. And when you're ready, we're going to do some leg lift. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. Using your abdominal muscles to bring the right leg up to the sky. Nice and slow control. Hands behind the kneecap. We're going to point and flex the right foot. Draw the circle in the sky and co rotation. And reverse, strengthening the ankle joint so it's not so easy to slip and fall and twist your ankle. Sliding the hand further up the leg, lifting the head chest up, head to knee, hamstring stretch. Allow your feet to stretch is good to go. No need to overstretch to pull a hamstring. Slowly release the head down and down by your side. Nice and slow with control. We're going to release the right leg back down on the mat. Once you come all the way down, bounce a few times. Point the right toes up to the ceiling. Slowly lift the left leg up using abdominal muscles. Hands behind the left kneecap. Point and flex the left foot. Reduce fullness. Increase flexibility and mobility in the ankle joint. And now we're going to draw a circle. And reverse. Sliding the hand further up the leg, lifting the hand chest up, head to knee. Hamstring stretch. As long as you feel the stretch is good to go. No need to overstretch. Make sure you're not carrying tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. Now we just slowly release the head down. I'm down by your side. Nice and slow control. We're gonna release the left leg back down on your mat. Once you come all the way down, we're going to bounce it a few times. Press firmly on the mat, double leg lift. Use your core abdominal muscles to bring both legs up to the ceiling. Hands behind the kneecap, flex the feet. Let the blood circulate back to your heart. Energize the body. Increase blood circulation. Increase your immunity level. Improve digestion and sleep quality once you have good blood circulation. Stretching out the hamstring as well. Stay here for a couple more breaths. And then we're going to lift the hand chest up, slide the hand further up the leg. If you can grab a hold of the big toes, go ahead. Tailbone automatically comes up. Continue to stretch hamstrings. No tension in neck, shoulder, or upper back. Two more breaths here. And we're going to slowly release the head down and down by your side. Doing three rounds of leg lift. Take a breath first. First round. Lower down for seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, when your legs are one feet off the ground. Bend both knees, left finger legs back up to the sky. Take a breath here. Second round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two, don't drop it, bend both knees. Lifting the legs back up to the ceiling. Take a breath here. Last round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, all the way down, bounce it a few times. Wind releasing on the right side. Wrap your arms around the right knee. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. Give it a good squeeze. As we massage organs on the right side, as well as ascending colon. Feel free to close your eyes and listen to my verbal instruction. From here, we're gonna go spinal twist, right from the left thigh. Using the left hand, slowly guide the top knee as close and far as possible. Right arm out, shoulder height, palm facing down. Hips automatically come soft. Turn and look at the right side if your neck is good. Slowly bring the top knee back to the center of the mat. Retrieve your right arm, bounce it a few times, and we're going to repeat when releasing on the left side. Grab your arms around the left knee. Point the right toes up to the ceiling. Give it a good squeeze. As we massage organs on the left side, as well as descending over. Anytime you feel bloated in the abdomen, constipated, you can try this method and see if it's going to help you. Now we're going to transition to spinal twist. Left foot on right thigh, opposite hand, opposite thigh. Slowly guide the top knee as close and far as possible. Feel free to extend the top leg if you have room. Left arm on shoulder height, palm facing down. Turn a look at the left side of your neck foot. Slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs, bounce them a few times. Knee to chest, bend both knees, grab your arms around your knees. Rocking side to side. Coming into a big circular motion if you like. Covering a big area. and reverse. Slowly, slowly come back to center. And we're going to go to a happy baby. Lift your feet up to the sky, hands on the bottom of your feet. Press down so that the knees are close to the armpits, rocking side to side. Continue to massage the entire spine, entire back. Opening up hip joints, stretching in the thighs.
slowly, slowly come back to center. Release. Come into bound angle. Place the sole of your feet together. Let the knee fall to form a diamond shape. Release the spine down, keeping the natural curve in your lower back. First joint of your finger can pass through. Not to say the entire hand can pass through. So that's your natural curve. And down by your side, palm facing down. Close your eyes. Like gravity, that's a job to open up your joints. Getting ready for Shavasana. And now we can open up the legs, mat with, let the feet fall naturally. Arms are six to eight inches away from the body. Turning the palm up to face the ceiling. Have a slight curve in your fingertips. Chin to chest. Close your eyes. Soften your face. Relax the jaws. Suck in your teeth. Lower the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Scan your body to see if there's anywhere that's still holding on to tension. Let yourself go. Try not to think about anything. Focusing on your breath. When you inhale, belly and chest rise like balloon. When you exhale, draw your belly button back to your spine like a deflating balloon. Two more breaths here. One more breath. I'm going to slowly wake up the body by wiggling your fingers and your toes, rotating your ankles and your wrist. Gently turning your neck left and right. Slowly come back to center. Point your toes, inhale your arms up above the head. Full body stretch. Exhale and down by your side. One more time. Inhale your arms up above the head. Point your toes, elongate the body. Exhale and down by your side. Bend both knees. Raise your right arm. Roll over to the right side. Making a pillow with the right tricep. And when you're ready, Use your top arm to push yourself up. And now we are in a comfortable seated position. Bring your hands to heart center. So we're going to do our closing here. So thank you very much for joining me. Sending your energy to all of us and letting me guide you through this practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste.